OK, I'm going to show you how to draw a quadratic graph using a table of values. And typically, um, in your examination type questions, um, you'll get some of the table done for you, and then you have to work out a few values yourself and then plot the graph. So um, we've got the values of 0, 2, and 3 um, to find. So we know that x is when x is 0, that y will equal, and you replace the x in the quadratic equation with the value of 0. And you'll see that x is replaced with 0. So y will equal 2 lots of 0 squared. Now 0 times anything is 0. And so 3 0 will also be 0. So plus 4. So when x is 0, y is 4. Now we'll go to y equals 2. Sorry, x equals 2. So when x equals 2, we have y equals 2 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 4. So 2 squared is 4. We're going to have 2 times 4 minus 3 times 2 plus 4. This equals 8. Subtract 6 plus 4. 8 takes 6 is 2, 2 and 4 is 6. So when uh, y equals 2, then, sorry, when x equals 2, y equals 6. So now let's take y equals 3, uh, x equals 3. I'll get this right in a minute. When x equals 3, y equals 2 lots of 3 squared minus 3 times, so minus 3 times 3 plus so that's 2 times 3 squared is 9, minus 3 times 3 is 9, plus 4. So we have 18 subtract 9, make sure you can see this, 18 subtract 9, plus 4, and 18 take 9 is 9, and 9 and 4 is 13. And, and that is our table of values um, completed. So the method then is to take the value of x, substitute it into the equation, um, and work out each separate value, and then add them together to get your points. Uh, a second part of the equation, uh, the problem, would be to plot the points. And that is um, fairly straightforward, plotting the points. The more difficult um, thing is to work out the correct values in the first place. So if I plot some of the points for you here, so when x is 0, y is 4. When x is um, 1, y is 3. When x is 2, y is 6. And this is just a rough sketch. When x is minus 1, 9. When x is minus 2, 18. So our, our curve will be something like that. Um, but what I've tried to show you here is how you substitute values for x um, one at a time to find the y coordinates and then the follow-up would be to plot your graph. Okay, so that's how to draw a quadratic graph using a table of values.